Hi guys. I feel like I have not done a dedicated makeup video in like a long time. And I think that's because I literally haven't done one. I want to say since last summer, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, but I do feel like I keep you guys updated on products that I'm liking though with like favorites videos and vlogs, but I just felt like doing a dedicated like makeup video on my routine for right now. I like it. It's kind of the same that it's always been, except for the products are kind of changed out. Anyway, we'll see where it goes, but that's what we're doing today and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I actually already did my skincare. I used this and I used this. And I'm about to run out of the Drunk Elephant one, and that will be a repurchase. I love this stuff so much. It's like a hydrating skin serum or something. And some days I don't moisturize and use those beforehand, and I notice a difference in my makeup. And so, anyway, we're going to start. Wait, let me put my hair back, actually. Close enough. I feel like that's close enough. Like as close as it gets. Anyway, this is a product that I actually have had for a really long time. It's the um, Maybelline... Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I have the shade 01 Light, and I've had it, again, for a really long time. I recently just started actually using it, and uh, I mean, I used it when I got it, but I just, like, wasn't super impressed, and then suddenly I retried it, and I was like, wait, I love this, um, because I was using the e.l.f. Halo Liquid Glow Filter or whatever, and I feel like this is exactly the same, but it adds a little bit more coverage, so I kind of just use this and some days if I want to be like super glowy I'll do both but I like this stuff do you think it is breaking me out though because it the applicator you know how you like because you can't really wash it so whatever that's fine but anyway on the day-to-day -day, I don't prime my skin but if I do I use the elf uh no milk hydro grip primer I like this stuff a lot and I have dry skin to preface all of this I have super super dry skin even in the summertime and so all these products are kind of to uh, accommodate that, I guess. Also, I love this big ass beauty blender. Can you see it? I don't know if you can tell how big it is. It's from Sonia Kashuk from Target, and it's like their body and face one, I think, and I just really like it. Anyway, so that's what I do on the day-to-day, -day. and normally I would put this glow screen sunscreen on, but I forgot. So I feel like that does add like an extra little bit of glow, and I like to be glowing in the summer. I mean, I like to be glowy all year round, but especially in the summer, I'm just adding some of the liquid glow elf stuff. Um, over it just because I didn't use that and I feel like that usually gets me where I want to be <laughs> Anyway, I'm also going to put some lip moisturizer on my all-time favorite probably I would say is this Malin and Goats lip moisturizer just Very very hydrating. Okay next we do bronzer because I do like to bronze it up a little bit and I either do the rare beauty little Contour stick or my Chanel bronzing balm and I use them for different things like if I really want to like try to add some more sculpting I do this just because it's more precise and then this is more sun-kissed I'm feeling kind of more sun-kissed today so I'm gonna do this so I just take this little Patrick top brush which I really like and uh add it onto my skin this is the shade um I don't know what shade this is but I'm pretty sure it's the medium one because I had the lightest one and it just didn't do what I wanted it to do for me and so I think I went and grabbed um the medium one too and I seem to use this one more although I do use the other one sometimes if I don't want like too intense of a bronze but um, I'm just adding this all over just to give a little bit give some color and I really like this brush because it's such like an odd shape and you wouldn't think I mean I actually didn't like it at first but um, I do like how precise you can get like and like drag it back into your ear which I feel like kind of helps I've learned that also into my hairline because I have a pet peeve of whenever I take like a picture or something and my hairline is so pale and basically the eyes I'm gonna be doing eventually and they're gonna be more glittery and I feel like the past okay I want to say the past one two this is like the third summer that I've been like non-stop maybe third year in general because I wear them all year round uh, I'm super into like glittery eyes. I don't know what it is. I can't stop myself. At, it was <laughs> season one euphoria. I saw what they were using. The LA, what is this curl called? A lemonhead. It's the brand Lemonhead LA. I realized they used them and ever since then, yeah, so Euphoria changed my life. Do we think it's coming back? Because I keep seeing I was actually reading blind items last night and the person writing the blind items doesn't think that they're coming back because I also heard that Zendaya is not coming back or something or maybe after the season. I don't know because it's not fun to think about because I really found so much inspiration in their makeup. I know a lot of people did, but I just, it's changed the game for me because again, I, ha I clearly haven't gone back as far as glitter goes, but I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. I just do like barely anything to them anymore. Sometimes I don't even put anything in them. Um, but I'm going to for you guys. I'm going to use this like Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil, medium brown, and I just kind of fill in the sparse areas. I my brows to like look thick and kind of put together because I feel like they're not that thick. 
On the day to day, I more so just make sure they're like brushed up. If I'm not like going in with that, I'll go in with this Ilia Natural Volumizing Brow Gel. Um, and I really like this stuff too. I like the, like the little applicator on it. If you can see that, it has like the big part and then the small part. And I like using the big part for kind of just like adding that little fluff that my brows need. This is probably my holy grail product, which is the uh, brow lamination gel for brows from Patrick Ta. And I've been using this for probably a year now. And it's just my all time favorite. I love the like little rubber applicator. You can just get so precise with it. I don't know if you can tell. And um, you just kind of run them up. It really is like a little brow glue. And whether I'm wearing nothing else on my brows, I still wear this. And sometimes I like will lose it in my like box because I'm so disorganized. And I'll kind of freak out because I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. See, this is the part that I like. You can literally like laminate your brows down with it and just press them down. Which I guess you technically could probably do with other products and just use the wand as that. But this is like designed for that. With a little flat edge on the other side. <laughs> This is a new product to me, and I am obsessed with this. I mentioned it on the podcast, but Cheek Slime by Freck. Freck. Freck is the brand. Um, it's a lip and cheek tint, and it's in the color Fielding, which is like their rusty brownie red shade. And I've been super into like the sun kiss, like I just got back from the beach kind of look, and I wanted something that could give that to me in a bottle and so I found this and I went in Sephora and I was looking for this color of like blushes in general and this one stood out to me and I really like it. It really reminds me of like acrylic paint or something and so I kind of just dab it. I kind of apply a thin natural layer to my cheeks and I add it there as well and the favorite part is adding it up here which it looks crazy right now but then I just blend it out. And I love the color that it gives. See, it makes you so red. And then I just kind of go in because I'm kind of messy with it. And I just add a little bit more. I will say too, like it really does remind me of like acrylic paint in general because it dries so quickly. I don't know, like, like for instance, all that time it was drying and this is like now dry on my finger. So... Okay, now that that's done, we have like the bronzy part out of the way. I still do like to add a blush and I like this Merit Flush Balm right now in the shade Stockholm because it's this really pretty pink and I, to be honest, I picked it for the name, but I do love it and I just kind of add that on top where I want it and I feel like this really tops off the like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm burnt look. Um, take this brush maybe... Now I obviously have to add my favorite part of this routine is this Jones Road Miracle Balm. I love this stuff. I just rub a lot into my fingers. It's like this sheer balm and it really just gives you like that little bit of like natural glowy essence. And a little flush of color but I just feel like it gives that like nice highlighted look without being like it's just a naturally highlighted look. You know what I'm saying? More so than like shimmery. On the day to day, I kind of just do this and then I'll like cover my pimples if I want to. If I'm like going out or doing something that I don't want. Or where I just want extra... Days that I want like extra coverage, I'll add this Ilia concealer. And I really, really like this stuff. Um, I believe it's True Skin Serum Concealer, which I didn't like their... Okay, no. I liked it. Their serum uh, foundation. I really liked that, but it broke me out because it has niacinamide in it skin hates that but I really like this stuff it doesn't seem to break me out I don't think I, it's hard to know how do you ever know like what actually is breaking out it's like a guessing game for me at least because I'll just keep using it um it's so good anyway I also painted my nails today so you guys didn't have to look at naked nails and they're glittery if you can see that they're olive and june I can't remember the name I'll put it here but olive and june glitter and I'm I'm not gonna get too close. You know what I think I like about the glitter stuff, like whether it's on my eyes or on my nails, I just feel like, again, I've been in that mood for the past like three years. And I think it's because you don't have to be too precise with it and you don't have to be like precious or anything. You kind of just put it on and it is what it is. Um, and you like, if you are too precise, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't give the same effect as like glitter, you know, which is kind of poetic in a way. So anyway, I have a ton of, little things that I'll show you of my favorite glitter silver glistening eye products. So first I'm going to add a little bit of powder. I 
I've just recently gotten into the powder thing, but I really like these Jones Road um, tinted face powders. So I have their pink one, and then I have their like yellowy one, and I think I'm going to go in with their pink um, under my eyes, just because I like the way that that looks sometimes. And they have this big fluffy brush with it, and um, I'm just going to set under my eyes. Just I usually do this more so on like days where I'm like filming or something like that. I like this powder specifically because it doesn't make me feel too powdery. Um, it's very, very lightweight and it just doesn't look, make me look cakey. I don't know. Um, again, because I do have dry skin, I usually avoid like all powder products, but this one does not bother my skin. Now I'm just taking the yellowy. This is in the shade yellow <laughs> um, over where I did the concealer just so it stays, you know, but I kind of keep the rest of it good. Lastly, to kind of set in all of those cheeky products. I've been really, really, really loving this um, Armani Beauty Blush and it gives like, I don't, again, I don't really have like a highlight highlight and so this kind of gives me that. It's the shade 50. It's their Luminous Silk Glow Blush and this thing has kind of changed my life. Like if I could use only one of all of these, currently I'd say this just because of how it makes my skin look. So I'm just taking this like little brush. I can show it off to you guys. Can you tell though how much glow it just adds even just with a little bit I do not know if you can tell so strap in I have a lot of my favorite glittery eye products but I do get questions whenever I'm wearing them um, and so I thought I'd just include these are literally like all of the ones that I love so much so first off the ones that I probably use the most often um, to give like that more white shimmery eye look is this ColourPop one. Oh my god, it's actually worn off. I'm gonna have to find it and like I'll link it down below. But it's this white, it's like a bouncy like normal ColourPop formula. And it's just so pretty and it's probably like my number one favorite eyeshadow that I own. And it's just, again, so glisteny. I can, you can build it up to be like super white um, and shiny or you can kind of just keep it sheerer, which is what I do most of the time and just keep it like sparkly next after that this is usually what i use like as a base to layer other ones on top of it if i really want like a bam look but this is the um fractal eye paint by about face and i really really love the about face uh like eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow things i have their blue one too which i really love but this is what it looks like and here i'll swatch it you can see that it's very pretty. It's more subtle than I was like expecting, but I actually really, really like it. And again, it just kind of gives those little like, it's like smaller glitter flecks on your eyes, which I like. Now, if I want more of like a silver, painted on, metallic-y silver look, I'll go with my House Labs one. This one is the one I first bought from them whenever they were on Amazon and they first came out. Um, and this one, it's very silvery and I like it, but it's just not as good as their like newer formula of it but I do use it sometimes still. But this baby, if you guys are looking for some silvery painted eyes, liquid metal eyes, I recommend this. This is their House Lab High Power Pigment Paint in a silver shimmer. See that I put a little dollop there and it just looks like that. Oh my God, can you like tell how beautiful that is? And also you can sheer it out and you can build it up if you want more of like a super heavy metal kind of eyeshadow. Um, but most of the time I sheer it out and it's really pretty. I love this for concerts. And lastly, if I really want like glitter, these are like flecks of glitter. So, so these are both from the Space Paste line at Lemonhead LA. And this one is called Disco Tech and it looks like this. And it literally is what you think. It's, it's like a gel glitter for on your eyes. And it's so, so pretty. And it just gives like actual glitter and sometimes throughout the summer I'll just add like a little bit of this on my eyes and it's just like the prettiest little Again fleck and again, and like I said, these were used in euphoria So if you are e as easily influenced as I am with that kind of stuff, I'm like, oh my god, really? I can buy that um, and then this is the other one which is called Adult film and it's really 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 pretty and it's more of like a chunkier like sheer glitter But it's more of iridescent like with the pinks and purples and stuff in it I don't know if you can tell like that's silver like actual glitter iridescent with like pinks and purples and things like that if you can tell with that Anyway, maybe I'll use a mix of them all today I'm gonna start with the about face liquid one and just kind of run it across my eyes like so and then just blend it out. I'm gonna kind of sheer it out more so then keep it super silvery Also side note be careful with the glitter stuff I think you can like really hurt your eyes with it But um, yeah, just be careful. Anyway, I'm going in with the ColourPop one over that just to kind of add a little bit 
of a pretty shine here like that. Well, I don't know if you can tell. And then I'm going to take the adult film um, glitter and just add a little bit of that. Sometimes to sheer it out, I'll just like kind of go like this so that I can kind of spread it out and be more precise with the placement. And I'll just kind of... This is just so pretty. It makes me feel like I'm like at a birthday party in like kindergarten. And then sometimes I'll just leave it like this, but on most times I've been really liking a little wing lately. And so I'll take this NYX um, Epic Ink Liner in black. And I really like this stuff. I really, really like it. With this Armani Beauty Mascara, I really like this stuff. I've learned I do like two layers of it. I normally don't do two layers of mascara, but this one really is good for that. I do like one and then I'll let it dry for like a few seconds and then I'll go back and do the other. And I feel like it gives me like a very, like it kind of makes me feel like I'm wearing false lashes in like a more natural way. And uh, the liner is a little bit more intense than I anticipated, but I do have a more hooded eye. So whenever I like, whenever I'm at my resting face like this, you can't really tell. You know, another mascara I really like is the Milk Kush mascara. Love this stuff too. Anyway, onto the lips. I'm gonna do uh, Jones Road. I love these things. These are probably my favorite lips right now. The lip tint in uh, I like the Mocha Rose Shimmer or Coco Rose. I think I'm gonna do Coco Rose. And the reason I love them so much, they're off super balmy, and then they'll dry down and they'll just stay on your lips for a really long time. I really like the, um, I don't know, the formula is just so nice. Again, it's super moisturizing at first, and then it just dries down to more of like a stain, I wanna call it, but. And at first, whenever I was doing this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be like my everyday summer makeup. And then somehow we ended up here, which I feel like this is more of like my daily makeup for when I wanna feel more fun. I feel like it's the makeup you guys see me in more often, like when I'm filming videos. And basically, if I'm just doing like the basics, I would take off the eyeliner, just use one glitter and then like one blush and then only the eyebrow gel and that would be my look and then everything else the same way. We ended up doing the fun one and so this is like, again, what you guys probably see me in the most and my favorite, just my favorite products right now, my favorite ways to wear them and I'm sure it'll change in the summertime as it gets warmer. I will strip it back even more because last summer, literally, I feel like all I wore all summer was the glow screen and um, with like a little bit of blush and mascara and that was it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and let me know your favorite makeup products if you have any that you think I might like or any glitters specifically because I'm always open to trying things but especially like new glitters I feel like again I'm just back in the mood I'll stop talking thank you guys for being here I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed I'll talk to you guys next time subscribe if you're not already also and yeah bye